What would you do if someone had an asthma attack right in front of your eyes? What if there was no medication? It takes time for help to arrive. In the meantime, what would you do? 20 million Americans have asthma. An asthma attack is potentially life-threatening. It cannot be waited out to see if it's going to get better. An asthma attack left untreated can quickly escalate into a life-threatening situation. There are three stages of an asthma attack, mild, moderate, and severe. Now, there is a tool to help asthmatics. It's FAFA, First Aid for Asthma Attacks. FAFA is a holistic-based emergency course of action to be used when someone is having an asthma attack. Revolutionary in its approach, FAFA can curtail or prevent the escalation of an asthma attack while waiting for medical attention. FAFA is a three-step process. First, determine the stage of the attack. Second, intervention. Third, prevent escalation. The first step in helping an asthmatic, determine the stage of attack. When someone is having a mild attack, chest may feel slightly tight, but not enough to cause difficulty breathing. The asthmatic will appear to be fine, speaking easily in fluid sentences with no need to slow down activities. Where's my inhaler? The second step, intervention. During a mild attack, the sequence of intervening steps will vary depending upon how the asthmatic is feeling and the circumstances surrounding the attack. For example, if noxious fumes are the trigger for an attack, the person may first open a window or go outside for fresh air. On the other hand, where coughing is the trigger, the asthmatic will be more inclined to first drink water. If symptoms continue, drink water. During an asthma attack, drinking water is just as important as taking medication. Adults and children over the age of 10 should drink two to three cups of water consecutively before taking medication. The size of the cup should be 6 to 8 ounces. If you are unable to measure the amount, just drink as much water as you can. It's important that the water is room temperature. Drinking cold water will constrict the airways and make the asthma attack worse. If symptoms persist after 15 minutes, drink two more cups of water, and if available, take prescribed medication. Always drink the amount of water consecutively and at room temperature before taking medication. If the asthmatic has no medication and percolated coffee is available, then drink two cups of coffee. Using instant or freeze-dried coffee won't work. If symptoms persist, apply reflexology. Reflexology is a healing art that promotes health and prevents illness. Every part of the body has a reflexology site on the foot. When applying reflexology, use the tip of the thumb. Continuously apply pressure to sites on each foot. Press each site for 15 seconds. Respiratory sites will initially be very painful when pressed. Pressure should be maintained just past the point of discomfort. Repeatedly apply pressure at that level until pain lessens. Socks can be left on. Using a scale of 0 to 10 where 0 indicates no pain and 10 indicates intense pain, ask the asthmatic, on a scale of 0 to 10, what is the level of pain? With children under age 7, it's easier to ask them, is the pain getting better? After 5 to 10 minutes of reflexology, the level of pain will generally begin to decrease. This will indicate the asthmatic is beginning to improve. When a person is not in respiratory distress, those sites will generally not be painful. Third, prevent escalation. If symptoms persist after 30 minutes or at any time worsen, call 911 or go directly to the nearest emergency room. Remember, during an asthma attack, first, determine the stage of the attack. Chest may feel slightly tight, but not enough to cause difficulty breathing. The asthmatic will appear to be fine, speaking easily in fluid sentences with no need to slow down activities. Second, intervention. Get some fresh air, open a window, or go outside. Drink consecutive amounts of water at room temperature and take medication if available. Apply reflexology. Third, prevent escalation.
If symptoms persist after 30 minutes or get worse, call 911 or go directly to the nearest emergency room. Young children can exhibit their own signs of asthma. Dry hacking cough, unassociated with a cold, night coughing, whistling or rattling in the chest, wheezing and shortness of breath are common indicators of asthma in children. Wheezing in young children may not be audible. As with adults, children should drink consecutive amounts of room temperature water before taking medication. First, determine the stage of the attack. During a moderate attack, the chest feels tight and there is obvious difficulty breathing. The asthmatic is short of breath and breathing is labored. I need water. Unable to speak easily in fluid sentences, speech is choppy as asthmatic tries to breathe. With children, there can be nasal flaring. Wheezing may or may not be heard. Second, intervention. First, drink consecutive amounts of water at room temperature before taking medication. At this point, the asthmatic should take their prescribed medication such as an inhaler or nebulizer treatment. When using an inhaler, first shake it, then exhale and place the inhaler in your mouth. With inhaler in a vertical position, breathe in deeply and at the same time press the pump. Hold your breath for 10 seconds to ensure that your lungs absorb the medication. Remove the inhaler. Breathe out slowly and wait for a minute. Repeat the process for each puff. Children should use a spacer. Next, remove the person's shoes for a reflexology treatment. Using the tip of the thumb, apply pressure to the specific respiratory sites on the soles of each foot. On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 no pain, and 10 very painful. What is your level of pain? 8. about four now. Next, apply contact healing. Contact healing helps to relax the lungs and bronchioles and can be administered at any point during the attack alternately with reflexology. With hands slightly cupped and barely touching, place one hand in the middle of the asthmatic's chest and the other in the opposite position on the back. The pressure of your hands on the chest and back should feel as light as a feather. To the person administering the contact healing, it may feel as though the treatment is too passive to be effective, but it is very effective, particularly in combination with reflexology. Third, prevent escalation. If there is no improvement after 30 minutes or asthmatic condition worsens at any point, call 911 or go immediately to the nearest emergency room. If waiting for EMS, give the asthmatic two to three cups of water and administer reflexology and contact healing until EMS arrives. Remember, during an asthma attack, first determine the stage of attack. During a moderate attack, the chest feels tight and there's obvious difficulty breathing. The asthmatic is unable to speak easily in fluid sentences and speech is choppy. Second, intervention. First, drink consecutive amounts of room temperature water. Next, take medication, if available, immediately after drinking water. If no medication is available, call 911 or go immediately to the nearest emergency room as quickly as possible. Apply reflexology. Follow with contact healing. Repeat reflexology and contact healing if necessary. Third, prevent escalation. If symptoms persist for longer than 30 minutes or worsen at any time, call 911 or go immediately to the nearest emergency room. Yeah, John. Yeah, I got the part, but nobody said anything about horses. I was standing on the porch of the bunkhouse. The director walked over and asked me if I could ride a horse. I'd never been on a horse in my life. I said, you bet I can ride a horse. I, was, I can hardly stay on the horse at a trot, and I've just, oh, man. First, determine the stage of attack. 
In a severe attack, breathing is extremely labored and rapid. You can see that each breath is a struggle. In this stage, asthmatics are unable to speak and are using all of their accessory muscles in order to breathe. Face may have a dusky or bluish gray color. They may hunch over a chair or table, or if standing, their shoulders may be hunched with their head pointing down towards the floor as they struggle to breathe. Well, Wendy, it looks like we're eating out tonight. I'll get the nebulizer here. I forgot your medicine. All right, we're going to get you to a hospital. Yeah, uh, I, I need an ambulance at 55 Bethune Street right away. Uh, it's a severe asthma attack. All right, as fast as you can get here. Thanks. Second, All right. intervention. During a severe attack, the asthmatic will probably be unable to take medication or drink water. Don't waste time trying to make this happen. Third, prevent escalation. This is a life-threatening situation. If you have your own car, do not wait. Drive the person to the nearest emergency room immediately. If you have no car or are unable to drive, call 911. A neighbor with a car a car service, hail a cab, go with whatever arrives first. Don't waste time. The asthmatic must get to the emergency room as quickly as possible. Remember, when asthma attacks, Fafa. Fa.